Hey, this is Lofi Vavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. In this video, we're gonna learn a finger style arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of Lionel Richie's Hello! First, I'm gonna play it for you and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen as usual. So first, it goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so you start with a minor, okay? And you pick strings two, three, four, and five. And then you can pick strings two, three, and four again. Then you do the same thing, only your bass note turns from A to G. So you put your pinky on three on the bass and play strings two, three, four, and six. And again, you can pick strings two, three, and four again. Okay, so it's A bass, G bass. Then the F bass. So you put your thumb on one on the bass and you do the same thing. And then G bass, F bass. Now you can either play the bass notes or you can play them with the chords, uh, with the chord. Or you can play bass chord, bass chord. Or you can arpeggiate the chord. Okay? You've got plenty of options, you make your own choices. I just teach you the melody, the basic arrangement, and you turn it into whatever arrangement you want to play. Okay? Make your own arrangement of this. So, that's the intro. Just showing you different ways you can play it. Okay, now for the verse. The verse starts with A minor again and you play this. Mm. Then you play strings four. Okay, you play it twice and play the A bass on the second time. And then the third string twice, 
Then you take the first finger off of the B string and you play the B string twice and play the G bass along with the second time. Okay? So A, G, okay, G bass with your pinky. It's still A minor over G, then A minor over F, exactly like the intro. Then you place your first finger back on the B string, play that twice. You can harmonize everything, you can play them uh, as double stops, you can play uh, double strings as a harmony. Okay, you can harmonize with the lower string. Okay, if you play the, the B string, you can harmonize with the G string. Again, make your own arrangement, make your own harmonies. Try to find different ways to play it. It's a good exercise. Try to turn it into uh, a mellow version, a more rhythmic version. Okay, we'll talk about it later. So, okay, A bass, then G bass. Then, um, you hammer on from one to three on the B string, preferably still uh, holding the A minor chord, so you do it with the pinky. Okay? And again, you can harmonize with the G string and then F bass. So it's F bass, then you take the pinky off and you play strings two and three or just the second string, that's the melody. So, okay? Got it? That's the melody. Okay, hammer on, bass one on the B string. So that's the first line. And then of course, G bass, F bass, again, same thing as the, in the intro, you can do anything you want here. You can play the chord, you cannot play the chord, you can arpeggiate the chord. Just create any rhythm that feels natural to you because uh, what I play might not come naturally to you, so you make your own rhythm, your own uh, style. Uh, all right, so that's the first line. The second line starts out the same. Okay, and then three on the B string, then um, a pull off from one to zero on the B string and then the G string on two. It's all in an A minor chord. It's all playing around the A minor chord. So the same start, A, G, three on the B string, then F bass along with one, pull off to zero, two on the G string, right? So the first two lines. Okay. Then um, you play the same first line again. The third line is exactly the same as the first one. And then this. That's the famous hello line. Okay? Um, so, just a second. No, it's in tune. All right, so um, you're in an A minor position, okay? Hopefully. Now, take your pinky, play three slide to five on the B string, and along with the slide, play the A string. Then put your third finger on five on the G string, and you can play that as a harmony. And then the G bass. Okay? You can play the bass alone. Again, you can play the bass along with these two notes, your choice. I think you got it by now. And then, 
By the way, you might have noticed I'm playing each bass note twice, okay, just to accentuate the beats, but it sounds good even if you just play them once. Um, that's what comes natural for me. So I don't fight my fingers, I just let them play. Um, if you trust your fingers, they'll do amazing things for you, okay, because it's all inside the chords. Everything is inside the chords. In fingerstyle guitar, 99% of what you play is within the chord, and if you put the right chord on, you can practically just pick anything you want as a background to the melody, and it would sound good. So uh, just try it, trust me. Trust your fingers, and they'll reward you for it. So you can also slide both of them, by the way. Sounds good. And then it's this. Now, you're already on 5, so you slide back from, uh, from 5 to 3, and then you pull off to 1. Okay? Don't know why I picked that. That's better. And then you put the F bass on, you play the F bass with an open E string. Then, three on the B string. Then, uh, you put one and two back on on the second and third strings. And then, um, wait, I forgot. Okay, and then, this. You put one and two back on. Just for harmonic purposes, you, you can play 1 and 3 on the B string. But I think here a melody, uh, a harmony is kind of required because you want... Yeah, you want a harmony. So um, you put 1 and 2 on the 2nd and 3rd strings and you play 1 and 3 on the B string. Okay, and you pick the G string on 2 along with both notes. Then you take the pinky off again and you slide these two fingers up to five and six on the second and third strings. And you pick A as you, the A string, as you play them. Okay, this turns it into an A chord because this is the A minor, uh, the A major triad. This was the A minor tri uh, triad. Okay, and this is the A major triad. Okay, that's the uh, harmonic genius move that Lionel Richie um, put in this song that made it such a haunting moment in the song. So um, it's a perfect lead into the chorus. So again, slide to five with A, then. G bass, you can pick the A minor triad, then slide back from 5 to 3, pull off to 1, F bass with open E string, 3, 1, um, no, yeah, 3, 1, 3 actually on the B string, okay, but you wait after the first 3, after the D note, 3, then 1, 3, slide to 5 with the second finger on the G string on two, then slide to six. So it's one and two, sliding into five and six. Hope that explanation didn't confuse you. We went over it before, so I'm guessing uh, you got the point. So, one last time. F bass, harmony, slide, the harmony, into A. So, the entire verse. I skip the... I skip the G, F first time. First line again. Now for the chorus. 
Um, you start with three on the B string and then you pick an open E string. You prepare your fingers for D minor that way. And mm, no, you don't prepare it that way. You prepare your fingers for D minor. I should have said that first. Um, so you can put your pinky on three on the B string or your third finger and leave these two to complete D minor. So then put D minor on and pick the D minor chord. Strings one, two, three, and four. Then open E string twice. Then the B string on three twice. And on the second time you turn the chord into G. Okay. So you play the D note twice and now you're on G. So you play the bass, then again, your choice, you can play any uh, choice of chord that you want, uh, meaning you can play the chord, you can play um, an arpeggio, you can play it like this. You can embellish it your choice again. So D minor, G, okay, you can just add one more note, then one three on the B string, then C, okay, just a C chord, strings one, two, three, and five, then one zero on the E string, three on the B string, then F, you play the F bass along with strings two and then three. Then you play strings three and then two. Then you play B flat. And you play strings two, three, and five. Then you take the pinky off of the B string, you play strings two, two, three, okay? Then you play E sus4, then E. Now E sus4 is an E chord with the pinky on two on the G string. Okay? I like to play strings three, four, and six, and then I play the third and fourth strings again with E. So, so the D string on two harmonizes the melody for me. Then you leave the first finger on the G string on one and you play with your pinky four on the D string, then one on the G string. So before we go to the next lick, let's play this again. D minor. G. C. F. Okay, strings two and three and then three and two. B flat, E sus4, E, 4 on the D string with your pinky, 1 on the G string with your first finger, and then you play this. Okay, and then you go back to D minor. It's A minor then A minor over B, then A minor over C, then the B bass again. So it's on the bass notes. A minor, you play strings 3, 4, and 5. Then you play the G string again. So it's... Then you take the first finger off of the B string. You take this, the second finger, up to the B bass, 2 on the... Uh, the A string, you leave the third finger where it is on the G string, and you play strings 2, 3, and 5 on 0, 2, and 2, okay? Then open B string again, then you put A minor again, put your pinky on the C bass, 3 on the A string, and you play that. Okay, so it's... You can pick the B string again, then B bass by itself, then you start the chorus again, okay, with your pinky on three on the B string. <laughs> 
and you do the same thing all over again. D minor, C, B flat, E sus4 E, and then instead of the A minor, A minor over B, A minor over C, A minor over B lick, you just play A minor and start the intro again. The intro, A minor, A minor over G, A minor over F. So it sounds like this. Okay, just to remind you. So the chorus again, let's just repeat the um, um, A, B, C, B bass lick, A minor, B bass, C bass, B bass, start the chorus again, okay? Let's go over the chorus one last time. have the solo there's a really nice guitar solo there it's kind of um I feel that it was a jazz guitar player who played that solo because it's got that jazz guitar sound um, especially the line uh, jazz guitar players love octave solos for some reason uh, not that it's bad uh, they just really love octave solos, so um, that kind of gives it away that it was a jazz guitar player. So, um, the solo, let's go over it really, really slowly first, so you can sense the logic inside the solo, and then we're gonna go over it. It goes like this. back to the chorus. So, the solo starts as a dissection of A minor and then continuing on the A minor scale. So, D string, G string, 0, 1, 3 on the B string. Okay, we're gonna insert the bass notes later. Then, 1, 0 on the E string. 3 on the B string, open E string, 1, 3, 0 on the B string. Okay, so again, D, G, 1, uh, 0, 1, 3, E string, 1 on the E string, 3 on B, E string, 1, 3, 0 on the B string. That's the lick. Uh, preferably with the first finger and the pinky alternating between one and three. Now, where do the bass notes come in? On the second, uh, on the second note, the G string. Okay, the A bass. And then the G bass along with one on the B string. Okay, so it's A, G, and then it's this. Um, it's um, one pull off to zero on the B string, two on the G string, 
open E string, three on the B string. Okay, so it's and the bass note is here. Two on the G string along with the F bass. Then you can do uh, three, one on the bass notes if you want, as that uh, bass movement from the intro and the verse, G, F, if you want, if not, stay on F. So you had A, G, F, and oh, by the way, you don't have time for G, F. If you want, you only have time for G, because then you have to do this, okay, um, right before the next bass note. So you don't have time for the F. Sorry for misleading you, um, but you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes sometimes too, so... Um, Now, uh, you slide your first finger, barring both first and second frets, to five, and you play five on B, five on E, five on B. You keep the finger there, and you play seven, eight, five on the E string with the A bass along with seven. Okay, so it's... Now, uh, the correct timing is actually playing the A bass after the 7, but you can play it with it. It works as well. It's an arrangement, okay, it doesn't have to sound exactly like the original. It won't sound exactly like the original anyway, okay, it's a fingerstyle arrangement as opposed to a whole production. It'll never sound the same, so it's an arrangement. Make an arrangement. Just play it any way you feel. You can delay notes, you can play them in a little bit of a different rhythm. Doesn't really make any difference. It's all called personal style. So you make your own choices. You can harmonize with the B string, by the way. Then 7 3 on the E string, and along with 3, you play the G bass. Then 5 0 on the E string. So I play three um, with the third finger to keep the pinky free. So Okay, got it? Seven, eight, five, seven, three, five, zero. And then it's this. 3-3-3 three, three, three on the E string, F bass, 3-1 on the B string. Okay? Um, those of you who are daring enough would try this. Sliding into 3, three times. To try and imitate the original sound. And then um, it's this. It's one on the B string, then slide with your pinky from three to five, then quickly bar the third fret, play the G bass, um, take the pinky off and play strings one and then two on the third fret. Okay? Okay, so that was the first half of the solo. A, G, F. Aha, too late. No two bass notes there. Again, my mistakes. Um, again. G, slide. don't want the bass to be late here you can do this 
you can just uh, skip the slide and just put the bar on with pinky on five on the B string and then the bass isn't late. And then it sounds like this. And then the bass is right on the beat. But if you want to keep the slide, you have to make uh, some sort of compromise and the compromise comes with the bass. Um, you can slide them together, but it doesn't sound good in my opinion. No. It's either this or without the slide. Your choice. Then it's an octave solo. Uh, you can't really make a bass change here if you want to play the octave solo as it is. Um, so again, it's a compromise. So you just play the A bass throughout. You just play the A bass whenever you feel like it or just straight on the beat. So the octave solo is played um, on the first and third strings with your pinky and first finger. First on 12 and 9, 9 on G, 12 on E. Then one fret up on 13 and 10, then on uh, 10 and 7. Okay? If you want the original sound, you'll slide out of it. Right? And even slide into it. Okay, slide into 12. 13, then slide out of 10. You don't have to. This sounds good as well. And then um, 8 and... Um, no, sorry. 10 and 7 again, 12 and 9 again, then 8 and 5. Then it's this. It's ten. Uh, it's eight and five. Slide down one fret to uh, seven and four. Do it twice. And then you take this shape um, up one string, up physically, down musically, lower in pitch to ten and seven on the second and fourth strings this time. And then you do this. Okay, it's uh, 10 and 7, slide down to 8 and 5, slide back up to 10 and 7. Or you can slide down and then pick it and slide up. Okay, it's either one slide or two slides. Again, your choice. And then, hello. Sorry. Hello. Okay, you gotta have the hand movement. So, um, that's the solo, uh, that's the second part. And you're back to the um, to the hello line, wrong hand, hello, and then um, the chorus, and then the intro again, and then the verse again, or the chorus again. Your choice. Before you go practice this, subscribe to subscribe subscribe to my channel uh, if you haven't already, and. Go download the tab from the website, it's free, everything's for free, but there's a donation button on the website if you wish to contribute to Lick and Riff's work, and everything goes right back to Lick and Riff, to making the lessons, to making the arrangements, to making time to practice them, work on them, film the lessons, edit the lessons, upload the lessons, it all takes time and work. Go get it under your fingers, make your own arrangement, have fun with this, and I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.